Welcome to Steve's Kitchen. We've saved one of my favorites for last, or last in this series anyway, sticky date pudding. This is delicious and so easy to make. We are gonna want some dates and we're gonna just dice these up. Come down here. We're taking eight dates, just slice them down the middle and then dice them up into small pieces. We're just gonna add them into a little bowl with some all purpose flour and just coat them over like that. In your mug, you're gonna want one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of soft brown sugar. This is for our caramel sauce. A tablespoon of maple syrup. And we're gonna caramelize this in our microwave for just 40 seconds on high. Now when that comes up, it's gonna be bubbling away like that. Take some fresh cream, one teaspoon, drop it into your caramel sauce and give it a little whisk through. And that smells absolutely delicious. Set that aside. Now we're gonna make the batter that holds this thing together. I want a couple of tablespoons of soft brown sugar in a bowl, two tablespoons of soft butter, and I'm just gonna use a whisk to bring these together. Now let's take an egg and just beat that in as well. And get a nice smooth batter into which we're going to add two tablespoons of milk. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon of molasses for an extra darkness to this mixture. Now add in four tablespoons of all-purpose flour quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder and quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. And then we're gonna whisk this up to a smooth batter. So we've got this lovely smooth batter. Don't worry if it splits a little bit, that'll be the baking powder reacting. It'll come together when we bake it. Now our caramel will have cooled down a little bit at the bottom of the cup there. We're just gonna take a few of those dates and just drop them on top of the caramel. The rest of the dates we're just going to add into our batter and then just gently fold those into the mixture. Then we're just going to take this mixture and you will see it split a little bit there. As I say, don't worry about it. It's still gonna look and taste delicious. Now, if I can guarantee you one thing apart from this being delicious is that caramel sauce is gonna bubble over the top. So we're gonna take a bowl or plate and pop our cup into it like that. Now over to the microwave, we're gonna cook this for about a minute 20. It really is that quick. I told you the sauce, the caramel sauce is just gonna explode out the center. This is absolutely smelling delicious. Now you could, oh, you could eat it like this, but I like to pour this particular mug cake out. Now come down here and we're gonna use the same plate that we used to cook it on. Give it a little shake and out comes our beautiful sticky, date pudding. This is as good as anything that you could bake in an oven. And I can tell you, when we created this one, it tastes delicious. Now, serve it with ice cream or serve it with fresh cream. Whichever way you decide, hot, wonderful, sticky date pudding with a lovely caramel sauce. You just can't beat it. Sorry to those that don't like the sound of my smacking lips, but <clears throat> smackingly lip beautiful this really is. I'm going in for a second piece. Mm. It's almost like a perfectly steamed ginger pudding, but it's not. It's a sticky date pudding. It is fantastic. If you like this series, give this one the thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and as always, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Now, some of you might have missed bacon and eggs. You might have missed the lava cake. So get across and check out the series of mud cakes. I'll leave another link here. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Be good. See you soon.